So they just found the world's most ancient computer. Dork alert! Yo guys, what's up? My name is Dave Waffle and welcome to I.O. So what is your favorite thing to do on the net? Please don't say look up adult images, because we know we all do it. So divers recently found an ancient Antikytheria mechanism when they dive down into an Antikytheria wreck. And guess what? This is the device we're talking about. It looks pretty cool. It kind of looks like the flux capacitor. Bobby, we've got to get you back into 1985. Now this is pretty much an ancient clockwork device. Darn it, now I thought it was going to be an ancient Nintendo. Thumbs up for old school ancient Mario. So this object was on board a ship when it went down in the Aegean Sea somewhere around 60 BC. Man, I felt like Dr. Seuss right there. But currently they believe that this thing might actually be older than that. Now despite obviously containing 30 different gears that are used to calculate astronomic positions, which they said can actually determine eclipses all the way from 205 BC, this device was actually put in a box where it's in engravings dated all the way back to 80 to 90 BC. However, the lettering on the box suggests that it might actually be from way before, somewhere around 100 to 150 BC. Man, this thing is old. Now because of all this, the scientists at the Argentina's National University have come up with some rather interesting conclusions. They discovered the solar eclipse that actually happens on the device's 13th month is dating all the way back from May 205 BC. So let me ask you this guys, if you guys use your phone as a clock, hit that like button, because I know I do. Now that's weird about this is the ship sank back in 60 BC. So why would they have a clock that's dating from almost 140 years prior? it would be kind of useless. Why? Because as we know, as time goes on, things in the sky actually change. Either way, guys, this is one crazy and absolutely interesting, but mysterious clock. So mysterious, I feel like I'm in an episode of The Twilight Zone. Signing question for you. So if you guys could own any old relic, what would it be? Mine would be a 1959 Cadillac, man, it's so nice. The beasts of the road. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm Dave Waffle, and as I always say, keep it real, keep it classic, keep it on the flip side. Out there in the real world. Later! Yeah.